Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do a mirror or reflective drawing effect in Illustrator. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's have a look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can set up to create mirrored drawing in Illustrator. You're going to be able to draw anywhere in this document and whatever you draw is going to be mirrored or reflected across the X axis. And I'm also going to show you how you can set it up to reflect across both the X and the Y axis as well. But you can use all your typical drawing tools in Illustrator. You can use text, you can use anything that you like to create this mirrored drawing effect. It does have some limitations, but I think you're going to find it a really valuable addition to your Illustrator toolkit. So let's get started. To create this mirror effect for working in Illustrator, I'm just going to create a brand new document. I'm going to scale this down and just position it so that we can see the entire document clearly on the screen. Now I'm going to create a rectangle the size of this artboard and I could do that by just clicking on the rectangle tool, make sure I don't have any fill or any stroke applied to this shape and just drag it out. But I have a script that does that for me, it just makes life a little bit easier for me. And if you're interested in scripting in Illustrator, have a look for another video on this channel that shows you how to script in Illustrator. I'll show you how to download, install and use scripts in Illustrator. So this shape has already been created for me. Here it is. This is the path that is the size of the artboard. Just turning on the fill so you can see it's exactly the same size as the artboard. And I'm turning off the fill because I don't want it to have any stroke or any fill. I'm selecting the layer in the layer palette. To do that you choose Window and then Layers to make sure the layer palette is visible and you just click on the icon here at the right edge of this layer 1 and that selects the entire layer. And now we're going to apply an effect to this layer and to do so I'm going to choose Effect and Distort and Transform Transform. There's no point in turning preview on because we couldn't see what was happening anyway. I'm going to click Reflect X and I'm going to make one copy and click OK. Now everything that I draw on this artboard area is going to be mirrored. So I'm just going to click the Select tool and select Outside here so I've got a fresh start. I'm going to target the Blob Brush and use a colour. And I'm going to use a nice big Blob Brush. And now I'm going to start drawing. And when I draw anything, it's immediately reflected on this side of the artboard. And then if I draw on this side of the artboard, it's going to be reflected. And everything will also be reflected across the middle of the artboard too. Let's just go back here and select a different colour. And you can see that the reflections are taking place. Now this is not perfect. There are some limitations to this and it involves creating objects that are underneath each other. So this object here is on top but over on this side when it's reflected it appears underneath. Now that's just an occupational hazard of this approach. So it's not 100% perfect, but if you want to draw out something that is symmetrical and mirrored and you're prepared to stick with one colour, for example, then you can get a really interesting effect. And then once you're finished up, you can turn this mirroring off and then start working with the individual objects. Let's see how to do that and then let's go and see how we could create reflection in four areas so that we reflect not only across the x-axis but also across the y-axis. First of all, let's see how we'll get out of this mirror drawing. Well, I'm going to click on layer 1 here, which is the layer we're working on to select it. You see here that it's got a transform effect and what we're looking at doing is getting rid of that. And to do that, we'll choose Object and then Expand Appearance. And that's expanded the appearance on all of these shapes and it's got rid of the reflection. So now if I go and just select outside here and let's go and get the blob brush and a different colour again. Let's go and get a bright pink. And now when I 
paint or draw with the blob brush, I'm saying no reflection at all because the reflection effect, the mirroring effect has been turned off. So that's how you get out of it so that you can then start working on these objects. Now these objects are all grouped here, but you know you can get rid of that. You're just going to click on this layer within the layer and choose Object Ungroup. And you're going to do that repeatedly until Ungroup is no longer an option. And that's just broken all these pieces out into their individual paths. None of them are grouped anymore. Each one of them can be individually dealt with. Now let's look at a mirror reflection across X and Y. We're just going to create another new document exactly as we did before. We're going to do the exact same setup process. So I want a rectangle the size of the artboard. I'm going to use my script to do that because it's always a no fill, no stroke rectangle. I'm going to click on my layer, Effect, Distort and Transform, transform and I'm going to do the exact same one as I did before. Reflect X, one copy, click OK. But now I'm going to do it a second time. So with this layer still selected here, I'm going to choose Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. Now I'm warned that this is the second instance of the effect and that's exactly what I want. So I do want to apply a new effect. You have to do this in two steps. You can't do it all in a one dialog. So this time one copy, this time reflect Y and click OK. Now everything that we do with this artboard is going to be reflected X and Y. So let's go and get the blob brush. Let's go and get a color and let's draw something. And here is our drawing being reflected across the X axis and then everything here is now reflected across the Y axis. Now there is one other issue that you should be aware of when you're doing this mirror drawing and that is that you shouldn't be drawing outside this area. If you do that, you're going to start seeing some breaking up of the effect. So make sure that you're always drawing within the artboard and that's why I think it's handy to use a rectangle that's the size of the artboard for this because you can see really clearly if you go over the edge and if the effect is going to start cracking up on you. So there is a simple way to create a really interesting sort of mirror drawing effect in Illustrator. You can mirror across just one axis or you can mirror across both axes. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.